Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 29 of Hidogato Sky Pretty here, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm -hmm. I wish it rained today. Well, it kind of did. But, you know, Florida is like a second. Oh, this is this episode. Yeah. <laughs> Where should he get scared? You called me cute. I am not cute. I am deadly. <laughs> oh, oh, Sora. Oh, she's on her way home. Did it follow you? I mean, that thing was like, a yeet. <laughs> My God, stop. <laughs> this dude would be making all that damn noise, Mr. Christ. Basically us. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking too, Al. Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay.
as the power of L. Aww. Excuse me. Oh, wait. baby oh It's okay, though. Maybe it's on And forgot you. Mm -hmm.
Go check the house. Be on your guard, though. Not being sucked in that house. Oh my god. <laughs> Better be like a house of horrors or something. Hey, Todd.
Oh my god! <laughs> One down and another one comes in! Oh my god! Titty? Oh! Hmm? Oh. <laughs> Dang, they was out there the whole entire time? Like, early morning to afternoon? <laughs> Easy. Looking for someone? And besides, it's been waiting for you. No.
No, oh my god. Oh, oh. That was cute. Oh, <laughs> the words. Big and wide, like damn. It's a really good filler episode. <laughs> oh my god. Oh! And then they really show him summer. Oh my god. <laughs> that was too much. Oh my god. It kind of reminds me. So earlier today, um, I saw this TikTok. Just you know, you know, some, sometimes when it's just your when it's your for you page for a reason on TikTok. So um, I'm guessing this dog was lost. I'm guessing a kid lost his dog, and so I'm guessing the mom also found the dog because in the video, the dog was in the car waiting for the boy to come home from school and so they could reunite and stuff. So the mom picks the kid up right from school, and he walks closer to the car. And he sees his lost dog. And he gets, he lights up. Something about reuniting a kid with their long lost pet, long lost stuffed animal, whatever. It, it's so wholesome and adorable and it makes you want to cry. And you're just like, oh my god. Because when you feel that energy that they're both finally reunited and they both missed each other so freaking much. It's just... Oh, it, it's good and he feels like you cannot reciprocate those feelings or just should convey those feelings again and anything else but just like it, it's so good made me cry when I was uh, <laughs> when I got off work I'm like oh my god this hurt but I'm just happy that they were able to find their way back to each other because some owners aren't able to get that chance you know But it was a cute episode. It, it did also, you know, I love the fact that it talked. It did give me feels to, you know how like in Toy Story 2, um, <laughs> this is probably going to show how old I am. <laughs> if majority of my audience has not seen Toy Story 2, um, this is going to go a little like spoiler territory in it. There's a character um, named Jesse, and her character is pretty much the, the type of character that's very similar to the cat in this episode where she had um, a child, it was a girl, who was in love, like obsessed with, you know, because typically it's like, it, it's the, it, it happens with everyone where we all find like that one thing that we're truly accept, obsessed with as kids. Um there's like this quote-unquote face so most of the girls I knew um in elementary and middle school they had like the quote-unquote horse phase or like cowgirl phase or whatever I never had that um I was more <laughs> my mine is still the anime manga phase and such or the magical girl phase before you know everything but I was always into anime ever since you know young and whatever but in the movie like I said this girl was hugely like her favorite toy was Jesse the cowgirl from you know Woody's Roundup and such so of course her her whole room is like decked out and um Jesse stuff and and everything so you know Jesse was her best friend like every single day till there was a point of course when it happens to majority of a lot of us when we get older we slowly but surely put away our toys and such and we move on to more what I like to say adultish things that means you know we're caring more about ourselves um talking to our friends phones um, any other electronics because I feel like nowadays like I really see kids with toys I will now see kids more with tablets and you know anything else and so that's why a lot of people feel like okay when I have kids I'm not giving my kid a tablet and such I'm giving them toys and itch so eventually there was a point in time when they were moving and so this girl she took all these belongings all her toys and everything that she had as a kid including jesse and 
she dumped them on the side of the road in a box. And it felt like abandonment for Jesse. And I think in this moment for this episode, specifically for the cat, she felt, he or she, whoever was voicing the cat, felt that way. Where she felt abandoned and that, you know, even though, like, she may not come back for me, I will still wait for her forever. And even in the moment, because my thing was, what I was thinking, it had been, like, years since the stuffed animal had seen its owner. But no, it only been a year. Because I was expecting, like, by the, at the end of this episode that this little girl would have been a grown woman coming back to the house and be like, oh my god, and such. But I think now because of Barbie... Um, especially for, um, women my age who grew up being in love with Barbie or brats and everything, um, and having that chance to get their quote unquote girl, girlhood back and to be able to have a chance to like, whether it is play dolls or, you know, be a little girl again for a day or whatever. Um, I'm glad that we're getting that because, I've even had a conversation with some of my friends and they're like, well, you know, let's look at like Transformers and how, you know, when it versus a guy and a girl, when we are girls and when girls get older, we, anything that is little kiddish and everything, we have to put away. And when it's more with guys, guys get to still have those things and such. And now we're getting more into the day of like, okay, yes, the modern woman can still have that, you know, inner child inside. And... Even for me, at the age that I am at, I still love things from my childhood. Um, that's the reason why I still love anime till this day. Because I feel like with anime, anime, it doesn't really have to defy its age. Any At any age, you can start loving anime and such. It's not a predominantly, like, little kid thing. Yes, something like, I, I would say more in the, what, um, in the U.S., I'll say it like this specifically for like things like Pokemon, how Pokemon got very popular here. Everyone looks at Pokemon and maybe I feel like mm, a little bit of what the Americanized Sailor Moon was or the Americanized car captor um, Sakura was as little kiddish. But then when you're watching, you know, the whole story in Japanese and you're seeing how dark Sailor Moon can be and how dark car captor Sakura can be and stuff, even though they are animes that can be for any genre and stuff it's not still just for little kids like yeah you think i'm gonna show a kid attack on titan because I, I have had conversations like that before as well where a lot of people think oh anime is just for kids and i'm like hold up hold up wait i ain't showing no kid attack on titan because i feel like they're gonna have some nightmares heck that's the same thing with death note i will never show a kid death note like, my, my, whenever I do have kids, Death Note will not be the first anime that they would get to. I would slow, like, slowly but surely get them up there. Heck, I did that with my mom. My mom, when I was a kid, she would sometimes sit and watch Pokemon with me. Same thing with my dad. And my mom has now kind of gotten into anime. Yeah, she doesn't watch a lot like I do. Um, and such. But my mom, like, I, I got her into Death Note and my mom loved that so freaking much and then after that I got her into Dorara even though I feel like because she she loves Death Note so freaking much that any other anime that is not Death Note cannot compete and so I literally have to have conversations with her and be like mommy there are other animes besides Death Note I know you like Death Note I kind of started you on a little too strong but you gotta like a, you gotta watch other things she's like no Death Note is the one for me <laughs> I'm just like okay Okay, but yeah, truly, like, I feel like this episode really hit home for a lot of people, just as much as Barbie did. Um, but yeah, I think this is one of those episodes that when this show, this season is over, I think I will definitely sit and rewatch again. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to me towards episode 29 of Hidogato Sky Pretty Cure. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every when I join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all on Saturday for episode 30. BTW, we're going to go ahead and talk about this now, even though I'm going to talk about this in episode 30. Um, next Saturday. So not this Saturday when episode 30 comes out, more or less 31. Um, I will be working the whole weekend of the first, the 31st, the first, the second, and the third, um, due to some things that are going on at my job and stuff. 
Um, so I just want to say anything that will be coming out those, particularly the 31st, the 2nd, and the 3rd, so this and everything else, they might be a little, a couple days late, maybe longer, because I will be working my butt off, I will be extremely tired, um, so I just want to go ahead and say that now, even though I will be writing a note up to you guys in the community tab in a couple of days, because I need everybody to know, because, ish, but I'm trying to get back into my regularly scheduled routine but I'm just always super tired when I come home but we'll talk more about that on Saturday but until then I will see you guys all next time bye guys